state to regulate any form of manipulation, any form of playing around, any form of transformation, changing of such organisms in this country. So that is what the National Biosafety is. Uh, they undergo a risk assessment and um, we issue a permit. So if uh, a product has not undergone any risk assessment and a permit has not been issued by the NBA, then the products are not allowed. So the current status as at now, because I mean, there's a lot of contracts and opportunity to, to maybe not follow or not comply with the law. Um, and I think we'll, we'll talk about some of uh, these products that we have found actually already being traded uh, in the supermarkets without the NBA permits. Um, but I'll focus more on, on the points of entry and what is currently there and what the NBA is, is putting in place. Um, because you know that before the Biosafety Act came in, in 2007, in our country, as well as also our political parties playing their role in ensuring that uh, in this thing is the issue of youth engagement is achieved. Uh, <coughs> an issue today, as a youth engagement, we like to speak like a, like a marketeer, like an orphan, like a, a, a teacher, like a nurse. So when you when you look at the plights and the challenges that uh, many of these people are going through, I think 2018 has been a, a year of, of storm and a year of uh, a lot of uh, ups and downs. Uh, so and, uh, when, when you look at um, the other aspect of um, youth involvement, I don't know about youth involvement. Certain political elements will go out of the country and scandalize the judiciary. They go to South Africa, talk about the uh, Zambian judiciary uh, is corrupt and all this. And this is the same judiciary that delivered a particular judgment in their favor. If you look at the Stephen Katuka judgment, uh, where Stephen Katuka is under a particular uh, the same political party, sued for the minister's allowances to be uh, uh, supporters with staff and by PM supporters, it shows you that UPP is a, is a force that is coming like water. It is so gentle and yet unstoppable. Uh, one of the key things that we focused on was to ensure that uh, the alliance is self-sufficient uh, financially so that we don't have to depend on the funding of any individual party within the alliance. So that is why we went and proceeded to have that fundraising event, uh, the dinner dance at the Intercontinental Hotel. And I must say that it was uh, very successful because we were selling tickets for a thousand kwacha, and uh, there were all sorts, about 500 tickets. And then we had uh, quite a lot of donations. Uh, uh, we raised more than a million kwacha. And that is an event that we just conceived within a week and decided to implement. So I believe that shows the goodwill of the people to step forward and support the... That we promised the people of Zambia. We began 2018 on a very bad note, on a sad note where we lost people through the disease of uh, cholera and uh, we thank God that uh, the president uh, took initiative as quickly as possible otherwise we would have lost many lives if we had followed the normal procedures of let the council do this let people do that it was going to be very difficult we would have lost many lives but with the bringing on of the defense forces to come and help us here in Lusaka to clean up the streets uh, because that's where the hazards were coming from uh, that at least lessen the damage that could have been. You know, we, I mean, when we got... Back to the back to school campaign, and uh, we seem to be going to continue. But we are concentrating on the young people, especially the young school going to this. We have a lot of dropouts, grade 7 dropouts, grade 9, failures and dropouts, and of course those that have not been able to their grade 12. So we are focusing.